In this video, I'll demonstrate how to configure a guest access wireless LAN using a unique password for each guest with the Unleashed user interface. By creating a guest wireless LAN, visitors to your organization can be allowed limited or unlimited access to your wireless network with configurable guest access policies. Unleash provides the following options for different types of guest WLANs. No authentication or open WLAN. With this type, any client can connect. There's no password required. Social media login. Visitors will log in using existing social media accounts to access the wireless network. Authentication with a shared key. Any client can connect using the same shared password. And authentication with a unique key or a guest pass. Guest pass keys must be generated for each guest, either by an admin, which is a guest pass operator, or using the self-service guest pass feature. In this video, we'll use the unique guest pass that must be admin generated. Each guest pass has to be generated by a guest pass operator. So a guest pass operator will need to be created. So before we create our Wi-Fi network, I want to talk about a couple things in the admin and services group. So I'll click on admin and services. And you'll notice that under the system information, I get my system info, which is the name, the system version, and the Unleashed ID. Then, if I scroll down, I'm going to have an email server and an SMS setting. In order to generate a guest pass, you have to have an email server or an SMS setting or both of these set up. So I have an email address and an SMTP server name and so forth. And also under the SMS settings, you would enable an SMS server. You can use Twilio account or you can use Clickatail account information. So I have a Twilio account information that I've put in here. So I just want to go ahead and point that out before we create our WLAN because it's going to be asking me if I want to create these. So let's go back up to our Wi-Fi networks and I'm going to click on Create. So I'm going to give my WLAN a name of Guest Wireless LAN Unique. So I have my Guest Wireless LAN Unique, which is my name. The usage type can be Standard, Guest Access, or Hotspot. So we're going to do Guest Access. Then I have my onboarding portal. I'm not going to tick the Enable Zero IT. And under Guest Authentication, we have Guest Pass and Social Login. So that's selected, or we could just do Social Login, or we could do None. So I'm going to select Guest Pass and Social Login. And here is the key that we're working with on this video. Guest Pass, unique password for each guest. And if you'll notice here, it says, please go to the following link and log in as a Guest Pass admin to create the unique password. And it gives a URL here https unleashed.ruckuswireless.com forward slash guest pass or you could use the IP address of your unleashed. So we're going to create a unique guest pass. The grace period here it gives us uh, 480 minutes but because it's a demo and I may want to log in more than once I'm going to untick that. Authentication method is open and we'll keep it open because we have a unique password. I'm not going to set the encryption method and I don't have a radius server so I'm not going to set my accounting system here. Under Show Advanced Options, if I wanted to restrict my subnet access, I could set some policies here under WAN Priority. Uh, I'll take the defaults, but the access VLAN could be changed. My maximum clients, I can allow up to 100 clients per AP radio. I could change that if I wanted to. Server schedule, always on, always off, or specific. So for example, if I wanted to set a specific time, let's say from Monday at 8 to 6 p.m., I could do that, and I could set that up from Monday through Friday. So for example, if I didn't want people driving in my parking lot at night using my Wi-Fi, I could do that. But in this example, we're going to use always on. Access control, I could set up some features on that. Radio control, uh, I can do background scanning, load balancing, band balancing, and so forth. And then I have some other features here as well. We're just going to take the default. I'll click Next. This is where we're going to set up our login type. So we have our social media logins, and we have Facebook, Google, LinkedIn, Microsoft, and WeChat. Guest Pass self-service, if that was ticked, that would enable my Guest Pass self-service, and validity period, and a redirectional URL. So I'll put in a redirectional URL here of ruckuswireless.com. Let me just tick this and I'll show you a few things. So if I ticked Google Plus and I ticked Enable Guest Pass Service and I go to the bottom of my screen and I do a preview, this is what the guest is going to see when they log in. They'll see the logo, the welcome message, 
connect to the Wi-Fi by the guest pass, and this is where they would enter a guest pass that was generated by a guest pass operator. Or, since we had self sign in, if I clicked on help with a guest pass, then I could self register myself for that. Or if I wanted to log in with my social media, depending upon what I selected, I would click here. So I'm going to go back up here and I'm going to untick the Google and I'm going to untick enable guest pass self service. And if I go back down and I do a preview of my portal, you'll see here that the only option is to connect to the Wi-Fi by the guest pass. So we'll click OK on that. If I want to customize this portal, I could do that. I could edit the logo, use a customized image. Since I'm representing an art studio, I could pop that in here. A welcome guest, I could change that. I'll just say, welcome to the art studio. And then I'll press OK for that. And I'll leave everything else the same. If I wanted to preview that, here you can see we have our artwork. We've changed our welcome message. And we're going to connect to the Wi-Fi by the guest pass. So I'll select OK, got everything set up, and now I'm going to click OK. Now it brings up a message that says, do you want to create a guest pass operator now? Remember, we have to have a guest pass operator in order to generate the guest pass. I could do it now, I could do it later. So if I wanted to create it later, I could go to the system admin roles and create new and then check allow guest pass generation for selected WLANs. Then I would go to the system and admin users and create a new user for operator and attach the above role to the user. Then to generate the guest pass, I would go to this URL here. So we're going to go ahead and create this and I'm going to give this person a name. We've got Jim Patterson and we're going to say that the description is a guest pass admin group attributes. I'm not going to put anything in there. And then it gives me the available WLANs. Since I'm creating this guest WLAN unique, that's all that shows up here. But I'll show you later how to get additional ones in there if you want to. So we're going to select that. We're going to move it to the right. And then we're going to hit next. And now we put in the guest pass operator. And this is the person that can assign the guest pass for any other user. So we'll put in a username here. JP Admin, Jim Patterson, and we'll put in a password, and then we'll fit finish. Then it says to create a guest pass, go to this URL. So once again, it gives me the URL at https unleashedregiswirelesscom forward slash guest pass. Then I'll select OK. You'll notice that my guest WLAN unique has been created. If I wanted to go back and edit that, I could click on edit, I could disable that, or I could delete that. So now I'm going to show how a guest pass operator would generate a guest pass. So I'm going to go to my login, the HTTPS unleashed.ruckuswireless.com forward slash guest pass, and I'm going to get a menu that looks like this. It says request a guest pass. So I've got a person that's walked into my company, and I need to give them a guest pass so they can get on the WLAN. So I would type in my username, password, and then I would press login. And this brings me to the guest information. So here's where I'm going to put in the information for my guests. And I'll give that person a name and I'll say John Doe. And I'm going to make this guest pass valid. By default, it's one day, but I could make it a week. Let's say they're going to be on the campus for a week. The wireless LAN, if I had more than one WLANs, I could select which WLAN I wanted. For this guest pass operator, I'm only assigned one. Then I would put in the email for the guest. So I'll put in that email. Then I could put in a number, and notice the number format here, plus the country code dash, then the number itself. I'll put that number in if I want to send the guest pass as an SMS text. Here is the key, and I could copy and paste that and, and actually send it to them or hand it or write it to them, but I'm going to send it to them. And I could put in some remarks, and I can just say good to go for the week. I could make the guest pass shareable, so guests can share a single guest pass one time or ten times or an unlimited amount of times. So if you had two or three people that came with them and you wanted to share it, you could do that as well. I could terminate the session after so many minutes and so forth. Then I would press next. And it says guest pass is generated. Here is the guest pass generated for John Doe. And it gives the number. It says this guest pass is valid and gives the time of activation. I could email this, I could SMS this, 
to this person or I could print the instructions. Let's say that they were standing in the lobby and I wanted to print out a set of instructions. I could hit the print and this is an example of what they would see. I could just print this out. It would show what the guest pass key was here. If I wanted to email it to them, remember we put their email in. I could click on that. It would say sending the email and it was sent successfully or I could send a text message through SMS. Now if I'm the guest and I've got my account here, I could click on my email account and it says that Greetings, John Doe. You have been granted access to the company wireless network and here is your key. So it gives me the key right here and that's the guest pass that I could use to log on. So from the administrator side back on the Unleashed dashboard, if I went back to my admin and services and I scrolled down under my roles, I would see that Jim Patterson had been added and if I wanted to edit that or delete that, I could change the name, the description, I could assign additional WLANs. Remember when we first set this up, we only assigned it for the WLAN unique, but if I had other WLANs and I wanted to assign to this person so they could generate guest pass, I could do that as well. Under guest pass generation, here I allow the guest pass generation, but I could also allow this person to be an administrator if I wanted to. So I'll just go ahead and tick that and I'll click OK. Under users, this was the user that I had set up, and I could edit on that as well. So we had the username, the full name, the password, and the role. So for example, if I wanted to change the password for this person or something like that, I could do that as well. So we'll go ahead and cancel on that. And that's all you need to do to set up a guest access wireless LAN using a unique password for each guest with the Unleashed user interface. Now, what I want to do is put on my client hat, and I'm going to log into that network. I'll go to my wireless LANs, and here is my guest WLAN unique. I'm going to click on that. I'm going to connect to it, and it will redirect me and say, Welcome to the Art Studio. Connect to the Wi-Fi with the guest pass. Now remember, as a user, I had my guest pass over here in my email, so I could highlight that. I could copy that guest pass over, and I can go ahead and paste it in here. And then I would click on connect. And it says you are successfully authenticated. Your guest pass is valid. Gives me the date. Continue. And now I am redirected to the Ruckus website. So from this point on, you have complete Wi-Fi access and you can use the WLAN. And that's all you need to do to set up a guest access wireless LAN using a unique password for each guest with the Unleashed user interface.